Hey there. Hey there, fellow wanderers. This is Hates Wanderings. Welcome back to a new year of open water, warm water fishing. It's been a long winter. I don't know about you guys, wherever you are in the States or in the world, um, but it's still winter in the Upper Peninsula. We still have a run water advisory so that our pipes don't freeze. Um, but that being said, yesterday it was warm, it was sunny, the snow was melting, and uh, it felt like spring. So I felt like doing an update was, you know, warranted. Um, it's been, like I said, it's been a long winter, um, but it's been, it's been all right. Uh, I haven't got out ice fishing very much, but I did do a ton of video editing and uh, I have some videos that I put up that I was really proud of, and I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. If you didn't see my content from the last couple of months, I've put up a lot of um, different adventures that happened over the last year. Um, so, uh, for today's video, we are going to be looking at my channel update for 2022, looking back at 2021, and you know some of my goals for this year. We're not going to have a whole ton of fishing video in the background, so if that's what you guys are looking for, check back in a few days, and I'm hopefully going to have a new upload. So let's get started with the channel update, some of our numbers from 2021. Um, we're currently at, I think, like 3,650-ish uh, subscribers, so thank you so very much to all of you. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm a tiny channel in the scheme of fishing channels that are out there. I'm sure some of you are subscribed to some of those channels with millions of subscribers. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy with 3,500. Um, you know, uh, I try to keep my content, um, you know, almost always to uh, freshwater, to warm water species, to musky and smallmouth. And so there's not a huge draw to see stuff like that. But those of you that enjoy it, thank you for watching these videos. Um, it makes me really happy to, uh, to put a video up and, uh, you know, have positive comments and people that are just saying, hey, that makes me want to go fishing. That's, uh, that's kind of why I do what I do. Um, and uh, I've been really happy, you know, in this last year, two, three, four, five, whatever, I've uh, been really happy. Um, my goal is always to make videos that show no houses, no people, nothing but nature and fish. And uh, I'm trying really, really hard to stick to that goal. Um, no access points, nothing like that. And uh, I know I could make more subscribers if I, you know, posted locations, etc., but that is not what I would ever do. Um, it's just not, it's just not in the cards for me. So, 2021 was a banger of a year on the year on on the water. That is, uh, 518 hours that I logged uh, on the water this year. That's not all fishing time. Uh, some of that's rowing, obviously. Um, because I row a lot in the summer, but 518 hours, I feel like that's a that's a good chunk of time, uh, especially since I only have a th maybe three months in the summer that I'm not teaching. Uh, so I was on the water 69 days last year, and 62 of those 69 days, uh, I was actually in the raft. So the Hooligan Stealth Craft um, really treated me well this last year. It's actually currently at Stealthcraft um, in Baldwin, and they are fixing a couple of my uh, small issues. And hopefully in a few days, I'll be driving down, picking it up, and uh, I'll be back out there to make some more raft videos. we got like two weeks until trout opener, so hopefully I'll have the raft ready to go by trout opener. Let's cross our fingers, boys and ladies and everyone else that's out there. Thank you. Um, so... For numbers this last year, we were at 1,053 smallmouth caught. Um, pretty good number. Pretty good number. Um, 298 pike. 85 walters, that is walleye. Uh, 28 muskie. 
uh, three creep chubs, and one green sunfish. Uh, I've never caught a green sunfish before. It was a really weird looking fish and had no idea what it was. Looked it up when I got home. Green sunfish. Um, uber rare. <laughs> um, so the kind of startling number was the 28 muskie. That's not very much. Um, but what happened this last year is I just, we just didn't fish for muskie that often. Um, I don't, I don't think I had very many days where we targeted muskie at all. Usually of those 28 fish, most of them came as incidental catches while we were actually targeting smallmouth. The smallmouth in 2021 um, were really, really active. And so we didn't usually fish for muskie much. Um, that being said, you know, 28 muskie isn't bad by any means, but uh, definitely wasn't what we targeted mostly this year. So much lower than other years, but still a pretty good number for the days that we actually spent targeting them. Um, 2022 goals. Uh, I want to boat a 50 inch muskie um, this year. Whether it's personal fish or whether it's a client fish or whether I'm just fishing with friends and they catch it, I want to be in the presence of a 50 inch muskie. Uh, that's been my goal for a couple of years now and we got a couple in the upper 40s and 40s and whatnot, but um, uh, 50 inch or those, they're very, very rare. Uh, additionally, I want to get a 21 inch smallmouth. Um, I don't measure every fish, uh, but I usually try to measure fish that look like they're 20 inches. And we've had a couple in the 20.5 inch range, but I really want to hit that 21 inch uh, smallie. I know they're out there um, much more easily caught than a 50 inch muskie, I'll tell you that. Uh, I want to also catch a nice brook trout this year. 2021, I caught a total of four. That is right, four brook trout the entire year. Um, <laughs> I actually made two brook trout fishing videos. No, three. I think I made three brook trout fishing videos, and I personally only caught four brook trout. Um, I feel like that's just not enough. I need to get out there, and I need to spend some more time trout fishing. I'm usually so focused on smallmouth um, that that I forget, I forget all about trout in the summer. Um, and I want to also catch a brown trout this year. Uh, I believe I caught a brown trout two years ago. It was a lovely fish, thanks to uh, Darkwater's uh, guide service. Uh, he wasn't guiding me, but he's, he's a buddy, obviously. Check out his channel. Uh, he took me fishing, and uh, he put me on a brown. Um, but I'd like to catch a brown trout this year again. Um, a resident brown would be really, really cool. Not a lake run brown, because there is a, uh, a bit of a difference there. Other goals. I want to get out in my kayak more. I want to get out and wade more. I feel like I put so much time this last year into rafting that I kind of neglected the other aspects of fishing. I think I made one video where I went wade fishing and maybe two in my kayak. Uh, recently on Instagram, if you don't follow my Instagram, go and do it right now, please. Um, only if you want. <laughs> but recently on my Instagram, I posted a question that said, you know, uh, would you prefer more rafting, kayak, or walk and wade trips? And I believe actually the majority of the people said that they want walk and wade trips, which kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, but Maybe I'll see if I can get that done. We'll see. Um, and always, my goal is to explore new water. Um, catch, release, wander. That aspect of wandering is so important to me. Uh, I rejuvenate. I relax. I refresh myself in the summer when I'm exploring new places. And new river systems are amazing. I love them. Every single bend in the river, I just, I love it. And if you've ever been with me in the raft or a kayak when I'm on a new river, I'm probably every five minutes, I say, this is so beautiful. Um, but I mean it. I love fishing and exploring new river systems. So new rivers, got to make it, got to make it a thing this year. Um, for YouTube goals, 
Like I said, I'm at like 3,600 subs. I should, in 2022, hit 4,000 if my pace continues. Um, but I'd like to... I'd like to maybe get to 5,000. I feel like that would be a pretty darn good goal. Um, my goal has been, I think, for the last few years, is eventually I'd like to make it to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, I feel like that's a personal goal of mine that I feel would... Uh, I don't know. I just I, For some reason, this 10,000 that's this, I don't know, ambiguous number that I just decided that that's my, my goal. But I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, for you fly fishermen out there, I have another goal. I want to make more videos that are just fly fishing based. My my best video in terms of viewer count and, and I think likes as well was actually a fly fishing video that I did. And I think I'm going to put it right there in a little card. I think it was like uh, fly fishing for smallmouth. Um, it was the first day of summer for me uh, that I was not... Uh, teaching. It's like a really special day for me as a teacher. It's the first day off um, and I went smallmouth fishing uh, for like two or three hours. Caught a bunch of really nice smallmouth on the fly even though I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, posted that video and it actually got the most views which kind of surprises me because I'm not really much of a fly fishing channel but I feel like I should do a few more videos to do fly fishing justice. So this year, be looking for a couple of those coming at you. Um, all right, so we're looking at about 12 minutes in right now. Hopefully I'm not boring you guys. Um, I'm just excited. I'm excited to talk fishing with anybody that will listen. It has been a long, long winter. Uh, I want to get out and fish. Uh, just a few days ago, I went fishing for the first time in 2022. I only fished for probably 30 minutes. I casted a jig uh, for walleye. Uh, I saw a couple people catch walleye. I saw a person catch a pike. Um, it was pretty cool. It wasn't really my style of fishing, though. There were people pretty much every 10 feet uh, on the bank. I won't say where I was fishing, obviously, um, but... It was fun to get out and, and fish again, um, but hopefully the next time I go fishing, it's going to be in a little bit more of a uh, uh, less populated location. Um, huh, let's talk about uh, my favorite trips from 2021. Uh, if you guys haven't watched this video, um, I'm gonna, uh, I got a card right here if you want to watch it. It was a trip that I took my dad on, and it was such a special trip. You know, taking out family members, especially parents, um, on a multi-day trip, it just... It was really, really fun. I mean, during the actual trip, the three days, I, I got frustrated with my dad. He got frustrated with me. Um, I nearly broke a toe. Uh, he didn't bring proper footwear. Uh... It was long, hellaciously long. It was three days of dragging my raft through super shallow rocks. But all of that hardship put to the side. Um, it was a really cool bonding experience um, for my dad and I. You know, I'm 34-ish, something like that. And so it's really fun to still get out with my pops and do things like that. Um, and I can't wait until I can take my daughter someday. That's going to be an absolute blast to... Uh, teach her about uh, the uh, the great outdoors. Um, if you haven't watched that video, you definitely should. It's, I think, an hour and 40 minutes long, so it's kind of like a film. Um, and we caught, no joke, we caught 225, maybe 230 fish over three days. Um, one of the days, the last day, we actually caught 125 fish before we even ate lunch. So in like maybe three hours, we caught 125 fish. Um, just absolute bonkers. Probably the, no, not, there's no probably to it. The best fishing of my entire life. Uh, I think at one point I might have caught 
12 or 13 fish in a row and uh it was just it was crazy so we were in this uh we were in this system very remote river um rocky fairly shallow the water was pretty warm um the water was also really really dark i mean it was kind of chocolate mud uh so it's not a typical uh smallmouth fishery and uh so i was taking my spinner i was putting it straight down on the water alongside the boat and i was just doing figure eights um directly under the raft and smallmouth were literally directly under the boat just coming up smashing it um I think we caught fish on everything that we threw. Uh, tons of fun. Uh, um, you know, I'm not trying to flex on you guys or anything, but uh, it was a super cool video. And if you have an hour and a half to spare, which probably none of you do, because I know how busy all of you are, um, it's a pretty cool video. And uh, the best part was taking my dad out um, and exploring some wild, savage nature. Uh, whew. looking forward to these next two months. Uh, April is that month where the UP transitions from nasty, nasty winter into really soggy spring. May is the month where we finally get buds on the trees and things start to go from bitterly cold to, you know, marginally know being able to, to to deal with it kind of weather um i'm excited for some pre-spawn smallmouth i'm excited for brook trout trout i'm excited for just getting out there and getting my line wet again if something bites awesome if nothing bites well at least i'm out on the water i hope you guys I hope you guys found this amusing, interesting, I don't know. Uh, if you're still with me right now, props to you, you're awesome. One thing I do want to say is that I really enjoy uh, interacting and communicating with, you know, fellow YouTubers. And when you guys leave a comment, uh, I always read them. Always read them. And 99% of the time, I always respond back. Um, in some situations, uh, comments are inappropriate, and I don't respond to those ones. Uh, but 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 99% of the time, I'm responding, and I really really enjoy interacting with other anglers. Um, I just love talking fishing. If if you love talking fishing, leave a comment, say howdy doody, and uh, yeah. Tell me what you're excited for. Are you excited for trout opener? Are you excited for walleye opener? Are you excited to get out without having ice on the lake um whatever it is i hope you're excited because spring and summer are on their way Whew. all right i think it's time to roll um without further ado uh catch release wander i will see you guys in the next one let's get going